Hey guys, Bobby Hughes here with Hollow Point Firearms. I'm here to bring you a short little video on the Out of the Glock mini series on five simple affordable things that you can do with your Glock to make it one, function uh, smoother, two, lighter trigger pull, and three, um, reduce the uh, re, uh, recoil, all right, and allow you to get back on target quicker in a shooting uh, situation, whether it be for self defense or target shooting or uh, competition shooting or whatever. So, five simple things that you can do. All right, the first thing that you can do with your Glock to make it uh, to the first and probably the biggest thing that you can do to make your trigger a little bit smoother and a little bit lighter is to do the 25 cent trigger job. All right, it, it's very simple to do, and if you want to see the truth about the 25 cent trigger job and how much it is going to improve, go check that video out. I'll tell you all about it and show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so the 25 cent trigger job, check that out. That's the first thing that you can do to lighten up your trigger and give you a nice, smooth um, uh, trigger. All right, pull. the second right. thing that you can do to uh, improve the uh, the trigger on the Glock. Is you can do uh, it's a com it's either one thing or a combination of things. All right. The second thing is to install a uh, a lighter trigger connector. All right. So in this case, in this Glock, I actually install a 3.5 pound Ghost Ink trigger connector. Okay. It's very simple to install. You can actually just check out the video on the uh, detail strip, and you'll see where I take the trigger connector out. And you can just replace that trigger connector with this one. So it's just a drop-in trigger job is all it is. So you can actually do that. Very simple to do. It costs you about $15 to buy that. It's by Ghost Inc. You can get it on cheaper, CheaperThanDirt.com. Um, and uh, it's very simple to put in. Now that, now to Bravo, the second part of number two is to do a trigger job in or a drop-in trigger connector with in combination with the 25 cent trigger job. And uh, so you're com combining number two and number one to get two Bravo, which is going to, uh, or it's going to reduce the trigger pull, all right, the trigger pull weight. And it's also going to make everything function a lot smoother. What it does, it gets a lot of those factory burrs off of the, uh, the parts and it makes everything run a lot smoother, all right. The third thing that you can do to your Glock to, uh, to help out on... Uh, the, uh, the, the, the transition um, and, and reacquiring your targets is to uh, replace your, uh, your guide rod and spring assembly. Okay, um, The one that comes factory with Glock is actually plastic. The guide rod is plastic. The spring uh, is not plastic, obviously. It's a spring. But the guide rod is plastic. And what that does is it, puts, it, it lightens the front of the gun up so that when you shoot, it's actually really... Um, it, it, it pushes the front of the gun up, the recoil pushes the front of the gun up, so it takes more, um, more uh, strength to hold it on target and it's, it takes longer to reacquire your target. So I would uh, recommend uh, for number three, just go in and uh, go to brownells.com and order you a, um, a stainless steel guide rod with spring. And what that's going to do is it's going to add a little bit of weight to the front of the gun all right, and so it's going to be easier to reacquire the target or to stay on target. So that is the number three thing to do uh, to uh, increase the, uh, the the functionality, the overall uh, uh, overall quality of your goal. All right, guys. So the fourth thing that you can do to uh, increase the uh, the quality of your Glock or the uh, function ability or functionality of your Glock is you can polish your your uh, feed ramp. All right, your feed ramp is where your bullets actually slide as they go into the chamber of the gun. Okay, so a nice smooth polished feed ramp is uh, it's very easy to do. It takes no time to do it. So a very nice smooth polished feed ramp will help the rounds feed from your magazine into your chamber a lot smoother. All right, so that's the fourth thing that you can do um, to increase increase the quality and the functionality of your Glock. All right, the fifth and final thing that you can do to increase the functionality of your Glock is, um, is two things. All right, one is proper lubrication. Uh, if you guys have seen any of my videos on, on disassembly and reassembly of guns, um, you'll see that lubrication is way overused in firearms. 
but you still need lubrication. Too much lube, you're going to degrade your gun. Um, it eats away at the, the, the finish on the gun, uh, as well as plastic parts that softens them up. So too much lube is not a good thing, um, but just enough lube is the, the proper thing. Um, one thing I recommend is keep the inside of your chamber nice and clean and put a thin layer of lube in there or use some bore polish. Bore polish works great to keep it nice and shiny inside there, it keeps it slick. All right? And you can also use that bore polish to, uh, to polish your feed ramp as well. So that is important for uh, lubrication there. Uh, the other thing that you want to keep lubed, obviously, is your uh, trigger spring back here. And, uh, and, and that's that in combination with your slot ears, uh, your little uh, paw, your slide paws here. Keep a little bit of lubrication on those. It just helps everything function a lot smoother. Remember, anywhere where there's metal to metal contact, it doesn't help to have a little bit of lubrication. And the second part to number five in uh, taking care of your Glock and making it run smoother is keep your magazines clean. All right, your magazines are a very important part of your firearm. As a matter of fact, without your magazine, you will only have one shot at a time. So take care of your mags. A lot of times your mags are uh, just tossed to the side in your range bag. You clean your firearm, but you don't clean your mag. Cleaning your mags is very important. All right, you can use... And to pull apart on a Glock is very simple. There's a little button on the bottom of your on the bottom of your magazine. All you have to do is just push that in and and push your the bottom of your magazine off, and your whole spring and uh, your uh, uh, top runner here on your mag all comes out. Wipe your mag out. Wipe the spring off. Wipe the carbon off of it. Put a little bit of oil on that spring. I don't want it dripping out of it, but just a little bit. It keeps the spring from rusting up. Another thing too, don't store your mags with ammo in them. If you want one for self-defense, concealed carry, whatever, then uh, keep one loaded. But every you know few days or so, switch that mag out with another mag. Allow that spring to have the tension taken off of it. Allow it to rest, and it'll make your springs in your mags last a lot longer. All right, guys. So that's five steps on how to make your Glock a lot more uh, smoother running, lighter trigger pull. Um, more uh, more reliable and uh, just overall just the function of functionability of it I'll just about drop that it just makes it run a lot smoother and uh, it's gonna make your your Glock last a lot longer guns are not cheap so take care of your guns take care of your firearms all right and uh, that's pretty much it on on my five simple things affordable things that you can do to really improve your Glock so uh, Check out my other videos in the Glock mini series. I've got one on the detail strip of the Glock. It's going to take this thing completely down to nothing and reassemble it. I've got one on the 25 cent trigger job, the truth about that, and uh, this video, and then also how to change out your factory sights with uh, aftermarket sights without having a sight tool or a press. You can do it at home with a few simple tools, and I'll show you how in that video. So check those out, and until next time, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about Glocks, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you'd like to see a specific video or you have any questions, like I said, leave them in the comments below. Rate the videos. Please rate the videos. It helps out a lot. Uh, it helps keep me motivated to make more videos. And don't forget to subscribe. I love all of my subscribers. You guys rock. And uh, you keep me making videos. So uh, anyway, guys, until next time, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, and most importantly, have fun. See you guys later.